Hello week six. Here we are guys, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and we have come this far only to find that uh, it's time for us to investigate how prisons have been reformed throughout history. There have been multiple uh, reform movements in effort to get corrections into a humane state where it's treating offenders and, and, uh, and not mistreating them. Those reform movements occurred in the 1700s and then they occurred in the 1890s. And throughout this time period, there have been other small movements and one of them occurred in the 1980s, early 1990s. And it was uh, a, a movement to try to get our prisons to output inmates who are not so likely to recidivate. New York spearheaded a mini movement in that regard, and they called that thing CIPRA, which is the acronym for the Comprehensive Incarcerated Persons Reform Act. And uh, this is what we're going to start reading now. We're going to read the introduction this week, and then we're going to read part one of the body of the document next week, and then we're going to read part two of the document in the final week, and then we're going to be having discussions on them as we go along. So this is kind of a historical reference thing, and it it pinpointed our prison construction binge that started in the 1970s, kicked into gear big time in the 1980s, and uh, and that's how we got into the mess that we're in today. So the reform movements in in uh, corrections are uh, commonplace. In fact, the only institution that's been reformed more than prisons is probably education. For some reason, education always needs a fix. There's always been something going on with that. And that's of no, uh, no matter to you or I, but what we need to do is just don't cry about it. So So there's no point in shedding tears over spilt milk, so to speak. Let's get to the week here. We, you're watching your YouTube now, then you're coming over to watch the overview of week six to read that thing, which is going to tell you basically what I just told you. We're going to do the introduction to SEPA this week. And so that's cool. And then we're going to come over and answer questions on the intro to the Comprehensive Incarcerated Persons Reform Act. That's cool. So it's an easy week. Uh, any way you look at it, it shouldn't be too difficult. So if you have any questions, be sure to call my cell phone. And thank you for tuning in to the D2L Network for week six. And I'll see you on week seven. Bye-bye.